let's review the images report Screaming Frog. So images are going to give us an overview of the different images that the Screaming Frog spider has found, give us some stats on them, and help us identify some problems which we can correct. So we jump over to the images tab. We get a list of each image found on the site, its size, and how often it's linked to. So it could be three pages that link to it, it could be 70 pages that link to it, you know, typically a logo or any sort of site-wide image would be that. So you get a feeling for, you know, which images are linked to the most, used the most. Um, so some different filters we have on this are those that are uh, over 100K, so we can look at all images that are theoretically large um, for the web, so we could look at maybe sizing these down in different ways. Uh, we could look at images which are missing alt text, so uh, if we're very concerned about image optimization, we may go and add alt tags to each of the images that are mi missing alt text. And uh, images where maybe alt text is a little bit too long. So a few different filters there. Uh, obviously, if we find an image um, that is very large and we want to identify sort of where it is, we can click it and jump down to the detail view here. We want to tab over to in-link. So this is going to show the different pages which link to this image. And we get an idea for you know how the image is being used, and uh, you know if we replace it, we obviously want to make sure that we, you know, either give it the exact same file name for its replacement, or uh, you know another way to handle it would be to just make sure that each of these pages, the links to that image, get updated. So a few different uses for this pretty straightforward report to help you keep an eye on how images are on your website.